Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we're taking a look at the newest character in WWE Champions, and uh, kind of inevitable when they said modern era superstars in a legend's ilk, I think. Uh, Roman Reigns. I love Rock and Reigns. Uh, top tier name. Who does he look like? Sound off in the comments, because... <laughs> so, a bit of a funny little thing before I start the video. I sent this picture to my parents because, like, to me, Shinsuke obviously looked like Michael Jackson. Um, Rhea totally looked like someone named Motley Crue. Uh, Kevin Owens, I don't know, Danny Zuko to me. But Roman, I don't know, it, like, generic aviator, bomber jacket, mullet, rocker? So I sent the picture of him to my parents, and I'm like, who does he look like? Like, does, does this awaken anything in you and god bless their hearts my father who is 60 my mother who is 58 um they had no idea so uh joe dirt i don't know the goatee's given joe dirt anyways um he is a legends era focused powerhouse coach ability at 26k purple gems do 30 percent more damage and moves that generate purple gems will create three more purple gems. If there was ever a character that Dorothy Zabornak bag pulls, please, God, let it be him. Uh, Link's Legend Era, gems do 10% more damage. Just the one standard set of gear. Um, not sure about the um, NOI uh, Link, if he's going to be getting any of that, I will ask. Uh, but the first set of builds we're going to look at are move damage focused. That way we get all the takedown medals done first and then we can switch over to Furies and it's just a lot more cost efficient for me. Uh, we're going to start with a triple red build. The finisher, Superman Punch, 10 MP, deal 714,666 damage plus 89,333 bonus damage for every X break gem and pin the opponent Shoulder block 7 MP deals 670,000 damage. And she's a 5x1 area to make into pyro gems, which will modify all gems above it into X breaks when broken by you. And the 5 star move, the Samoan Splash 7 MP, uh, deal 580,666 damage. And she's a 5x1 area to swap into red gems. Entourage for this, we are doing move damage. If my emulator ever loads. Probably going to crash. Uh, Butch for red MP. Judgment Day Finn for... Yeah, this is totally going to crash. I kind of wish it would, just so I know, you know? There we go. Um, Judgment Day Finn for plus two red MP and 100% red move damage. Gooker for 40%. Uh, using Chelsea Green for 30% more move damage. If you have Trick Snoop at 26k, he'll give you 40 um, but I'm using Chelsea Green, because that's who I have up here. And for the belts, takedown twos, a 200 percenter for um, the move damage. And then I'm using the NWO tested loyalty plate. Whenever you break six or more red gems, increase your red move damage by 75% for two turns. Uh, it is a little board dependent, but if you accidentally cascade and break a bunch of gems, that'll trigger. Um, and also, if you accidentally cascade and break a bunch of gems, introducing the Veer Plate. Whenever you break four or more X-Break gems, deplete six MP from each of the opponent's moves. Hashtag safety. Uh, because I, I only got this to work once and every single time I cascaded. So we all know that I'm going to cascade in the video. But, you know, let's see. Joe Dirt is angry. All right, uh, da, 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 da. so the finisher's doing 3.8, shoulder block's doing 3.6, Samoan Splash is doing 3.1. So there's 10 mil in move damage alone. That's nasty, right? Um, I said this was board dependent. NWO plate, you need to break six. So I'm looking for something to attach this to. However, this is just, this is just a mess. So probably not going to trigger here unless we cascade. <laughs> Uh, choose a 5x1 Aria. Shout out to Grisson to swap into red gems. There's the wild card dropping down. 
Kind of wish it was a 4 by one to avoid the wild cards, but it is what it is. We trigger the plate. We drain the MP. We get to recycle. So now the finisher is doing 4.4. Shoulder block's doing 4.1. Samoan Splash is doing 3.5. Not horrible. Not horrible. What is horrible is this, you know, now they now every single red gem is on the bottom, but... And there's the three. Yeah, you, you guys know. You guys already know that's how it's going to go. I'm going to run that one more time, though, just because I want to actually see what the finisher does. So instead of laying out everything again. Well, no, I have to lay out everything again, though, because it's damage per expert. Whatever. I'm just going to try this again. I'm just going to try this again. And um, you guys get the point here. There is another move damage build we'll look at maybe a little safer, but. In before someone comments, well, that's why he's A tier. Shut up. <laughs> okay. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, that's cascading. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Shout out to the Veer plate, though. Lifesaver. Yeah, I gotta do this again. Oh, and then he... Cr oh man. Come on, homie. Come on, big homie. Please be cool. God damn it. Whatever. Finisher is getting like 4.5 mil after all that. Yay, we did it. Uh, let's go take a look at the other move damage build, which... Like I said, a little safer. I am missing a skill plate for it, but we'll talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's go set that up. So another move damage build we're going to take a look at. Taking out the uh, the Cascady, Cascady, I already forgot the name of the move, uh, the shoulder block. And bringing in the leaping clothesline, 2 MP blue move. This is the four star move. A deal 53,600 damage. And increase your red move damage by 100% for one turn. Does not affect bonus damage. Same entourage and same setup because, yay, if we can clip a red gem, cool. Uh, but I am missing a skill plate that would make this um, a lot stronger. Um, I do have the inverse. The inverse would be... Oh, right, I can't actually go into my in use because it's going to ruin my boss plate um, reveal. Um, so the inverse, checks notes is Eternal Vigilance, which is a 4th of July plate, and that's whenever you break three or more red gems, get three blue MP. So if you have that plate, you could probably stack that, you know, three times in a turn without a cascade. But we're going to do the bootleg version. I know. I know. Don't at me. There, just in case somebody decides to watch the video on mute, which I honestly don't blame you. Uh, I am pretending to have an eternal vigilance plate, LOL. Don't at me. There. There. Okay. Uh, so 3.1, 3.8, increase your red move damage. There is no animation. Hell yeah, this guy is great. You want a fast feud card? Uh, poster? Poster? <laughs> poster? Uh, so 6.3, 7.7. We would cascade. God flippin' darn it. Gosh flippin' darn it. Oh, dinkum poop. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Um, I'm fine. I'm fine. We are pretending to have an eternal vigilance plate. Ta -da! He ain't gonna have enough health. But the thing about him cascading is it's only a one turn boost. So, you know, whatever. This is where the plate would go. Ta -da! And then we would stack again. Hell yeah. 
Uh, so 9.4 on the Samoan Splash. I mean, you could probably, um, if you have NWO Hogan, if you want to fully recycle this. I'm getting the extra one because of tour perks, but NWO Hogan means you could cycle this a couple times. Again, if you have... If you have the plate, which I do not have. 11.6 uh, mil on the finisher. And then the red moves are going to recycle themselves with that. Ta-da. I need that plate. Anyways. My goal is to get one of every MP plate, which kind of got thrown out the window because they came out with a bunch of new ones. Anyways, those are the move damage builds. Let's go set up some gem damage. So now we're going to take a look at this triple red again, but I have set it up to be gem damage based. A uh, Butch for red MP. Piper Niven, I should probably use Davy Boy Smith, honestly, now that I think about it. I keep forgetting that he exists to um, negate her existence entirely. Uh, 45%. There we go. 45% uh, to red gems plus two red MP. Omos, if you have his coach ability maxed out, it's 100%. I don't. Uh, Zombie Kane for more X break gem damage. If you have um, Hall of Fame Hogan, you could use him. Santa Hogan, when in doubt. Uh, but we've switched over to Fury 2s. We are doing uh, the Braid Blade. Whenever you make six or more X break gems, increase all of your gem damage by 100% for two turns. And then the Lion's Gaze. Whenever you break four or more X break gems, deplete six MP from each of the opponent's moves. Um, I, he is a showdown poster. He's also frozen in quite the pose. Again, Nox, if you're going to crash, just do it. So I can get on with my day. There we go. Uh, seven charge on those. So you might consider um, using Showboat Montez if you're using him in Showdown. Showboat Montez for the plus two on a red match. And then you could use, um, I think, Striker Honky Tonk Man is more X-Break Gym Damage. Y'all know how the plus two on a match trainers work for showdown. Anyways, uh, let's see what gem damage looks like. Immediately a board shuffle. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, 44. Okay, let's go. That's gonna, ugh. It's just, it's gonna cascade. I just know it's gonna cascade. There's so many, so many spots. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, three mil on an oops. And then that braid blade is going to stack, so. That's not where I wanted to put that. Oh, well. Oh, well. There's another cascade. Love it, love it. 2.5. Okay, so it got worse. Awesome. Love that. Oh, we did it. Okay, so we're up to three stacks of the, of the braid. So 96 on the reds, 105. There we go. Now, you could hit the finisher here, which we never actually got to do. Um, or you could do this. Choose a 5 by one to swap into red and use it to break a whole lot of reds. And then the board goes blap. And you do 5 mil. Okay. I see this being more of a defensive annoyance build if you have a veer plate. I definitely see that being more of a haha, I keep cascading and draining your MP. Uh, but that is one gem damage build. Let's go set up another. Next gem damage build, we are taking out the finisher and we are bringing in the six star move, which is the scoop power slam 8 MP. Deal 196,533 damage and increase your wild card gem damage by 55% for one turn. It's it's all gem damage. I don't know why it it says wild card gem damage. It's similar to powerhouse Roman six star move where it says something about wild card gem. Like, it's all gems. I don't know why they can't code it to say all gems, but whatever. Now we know. Um, Honorage for this. Roxanne for plus four green and red. Tyler Breeze for plus two green, plus one red. Because if I use NWO perfect, people get mad. 
Um, Omos, again, if you have them at 100%, even better. And then Santa for the 1 MP. So with this trainer setup, even without perks, this will be ready to go on turn one. Uh, staying with the Braid Blade and the Veer Plate. So increase your gem damage when you make X breaks and then deplete opponent MP when you break them. So starting at 40k... Now we're at 62. Let's see if we can actually get this to to trigger without cascading. If it cascades, cool, whatever, because you want to blow up the board. But I'm more just curious to see what the gem damage is. Yep, go figure. Go figure. So 89 and a half. 96.2 on the reds. Go ahead and swipe and blow up the board. You are going to have to hope for a lot of green gems on the board to recycle. If you don't have a Veer Plate, I, is there an ultimate plate that... I don't know if there's an ultimate plate that actually throws out green gems, but that would be an option. I don't think that... It doesn't exist. I'm pretty sure it doesn't exist. Uh, Scopely, make one exist. Please. Thank you. Uh, so Braid Blade means this keeps stacking. So 116, 123, go ahead and blow up the board, drain the MP. It's like four and a half, and then again, that'll keep stacking. And he'll keep kicking out, which is, you know, great for me. 75, 116. There we go. Boom. Six something. I don't know. He didn't have any health left. Uh, but enough of the red moves. He's got some other specs we can take a look at for gem damage. Let's go set those up. Let's go ahead and take a look at the other moves. Yes, he has other moves. You wouldn't know it from me using the same four for four builds. Uh, but the green set. So the spear, 8 MP green move, deal 178,666 damage. And make 25 random gems into crossbreak gems. This is a hardcore move. If the opponent is an acrobat, First, deal 223,333 damage and force your opponents to skip their turn for one turn. So we will be going against an Acrobat. Keep that in mind. We are going to have class advantage on our gem breaks. Uh, green 2, the Samoan Drop, 8 MP, deal 208,146 damage plus 84,866 bonus damage for every cross break gem. And blue one, the Lariat Takedown, 7 MP, deal 98,266 damage and increase your green MP by 7. Goldie, why aren't you running triple green? I'll do that later. Um, Entourage for this Lawler for blue. Hall of Fame Tori for 50% to the cross breaks. I think she goes up to 100. I don't have her up there yet. I was concerned about tokens. Uh, but Hall of Fame Tori for the cross breaks. Uh, Santa for the plus one, and then Zombie Cena for 25% more to the cross breaks, plus an extra cross break. So we're getting just short of 150 bonus damage for every cross break gem. Fury 2s and a King Seamus Crown. Whenever you make four or more cross break gems, increase your red gem damage by 150% and your green move damage by 50% for two turns. He does have an ultimate plate coming out during the debut contest. I do not have it available for preview purposes, uh, but it is a cross break ultimate plate that increases gem and move damage. I think, I don't remember if it's whether you generate or whether you break them, but that would definitely be the plate to use in this build or the triple green. Again, don't have it for preview purposes, but keep that in mind as well. It would make this build a lot stronger. And uh, let's see what we can get up to. So using the blue mood to load, I probably would just personally would do triple green. But again, it's a preview. I'd like to show all the moves. Stun the opponent, deal some damage, put out some random cross breaks. Now red cross break gems are doing 84k. 
regular red doing 71. Got a little more move damage here. Uh, 148 bonus damage. Slow this down just to see. So 3.8. 3.8. Decent. Uh, and then take a swipe. Take a swipe. Let's take that one. Just shy of 2 mil gem damage. Again, a maxed out Hall of Fame Tori would be preferred. I believe the Seamus Crown stacks. Yeah, it's two turns. So this is going to stack a little bit. For some reason, it never displays properly on the move damage. Now, if this if this was gain eight, it would make it a little more cracked because you'd be able to hit these again. But as it stands, we cannot. So we go ahead and take a swipe. So that's how that looks, but again, I personally would run the triple green. Let's go ahead and set that up. Last build, we're going to take a look at triple green. So bringing in the scoop power slam, increase your all gem damage by 55% for one turn. Because these are all eight MP moves, I am running double green MP trainers. So steel for the four, big pop a pump for two, Santa Hogan for one, I guess triple MP trainers. Uh, Well, no, he's a coach. Anyways, uh, Santa Hogan for the one and then keeping on Zombie Cena for that extra cross break and a little bit extra damage. Again, he does have a skill plate that is cross break gem focused. So keep that in mind. And we're going to go up against a non acrobat just to see what this looks like uh, without the stun and without the class advantage. So 40... 235, 274, 259. Yeah, we'll hit this one first because it's the lowest amount of move damage. And then it criticals. Go figure. 66. Now these are doing... Yeah, the move damage for the green moves isn't that high, so I wouldn't do a takedown build with the King Seamus. It's kind of just there as an extra, right? Maybe instead you do something that gives you... Um, green mp if you're worried about recycling like here we have only have three on the board so probably going to suffer a little bit this is where having the uh the red not the red the blue move to load everything would be helpful 2.9 yeah and then no green cascades so womp womp Hey, I found myself one, though. So I feel like with the crossbreak ultimate, you wouldn't need the Seamus crown, and then that's where you could throw something in to help recycle a little more. Just my opinion, as the one that makes a preview. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. So this should recycle. Bonus damage for the cross breaks. Increase the gem damage and then take a swipe. 2.9. Yeah, I feel like the, the new plate is going to be what makes this build viable. Not horrible, of course. If you're going against an acrobat, you're going to stun lock a decent amount of the time. But that move damage build is mighty appealing. Mighty appealing. And I also enjoy characters that have both available, right? Not just a gem damage person. Or not just a move damage person. He didn't even have a submission. What is this? What is? How are we going to do a victory tour without a maxed out sub? Anyways, uh, let's go wrap things up. So that concludes our first look at Roman Reigns. Rock in Reigns. Again, a legend era Focused powerhouse coach ability at 26k. Purple gems do 30% more damage, and moves that generate purple gems will create three more purple gems. Legends era link gems do 10% more damage. Again, I don't know if he's going to have the Anoa'i Maivia link, uh, but I will ask. And uh, there you go, folks. What are we thinking of this? Is it the best Roman? 
I know a lot of people have been saying we need a new like god mode Roman. Um, is this him? Is this your king? Sound off in the comment section. Let me know what you think about um also and let me know who you think he looks like, because I I yeah. generic 80s rocker. Sure, let's go with that. Uh, but let me know what you think in the comments of this video. Any other questions, comments, concerns, feel free to hit me up in my Discord server. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching, and thank you for being a friend.